Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's nap time, which I'm sure that you probably already assumed because I always start my vlogs during nap time. I was just able to take a bath because Andy is sleeping at the same time. She just had her two month appointment yesterday, so she's still slowly recuperating from her shots. They made her very sleepy last night and she's been really sleepy all day today. I feel like it hasn't been that long since I have vlogged, but there's also a lot to update you guys on. Um, where do I even begin? So uh, first of all, Merry Christmas because it's basically Christmas time. At least it is for me. We've already decorated our house, which I'll show you guys. We haven't decorated the whole house, which leads me to my next update. The reason we haven't decorated the whole house yet is because we actually, let me just sit down so I can explain this real quick. So the reason we haven't really decorated for Christmas in the whole house yet is because um, we are going to be redoing our kitchen. So basically what happened was, if you guys remember, we moved into this house a year and a half ago. The kitchen was very dated. I'll insert a before and an after picture. It was very dated. It was built in 2004 um, and it had just never been updated. So when we moved in, we just gave it a facelift. We painted the cabinets and did just a ton to the kitchen just to make it look nice temporarily knowing that we'd have to redo it. So we have been looking into redoing it knowing that we have a certain budget and we weren't really sure how much it was, but we knew that we needed new cabinets and countertops, which are obviously very expensive. So we had someone come out and give us a quote and at the end, which was way above our budget, we, we were like, uh, okay, we'll have to hold off and wait until next year. Um, but then we, he realized that we actually have water damage underneath our sink. And so he advised us to contact our insurance company. And this is all new for Steve and I, we're first time homeowners. Um, so we weren't really sure what would happen or if homeowners insurance would take care of any of it, but they did come and they realized that we actually have mold damage in our kitchen. So long story short, that will all be professionally removed and taken care of properly because it's obviously not safe to just rip it out on your own and have it go throughout your house when I have four babies at home. So we'll have someone come and remove the mold. However, because they're removing the mold, they will be taking out cabinets and drywall and if you take out the cabinets, you have to take out the countertops. So we will be getting our kitchen redone. Um, thank God we have homeowner's insurance, which is going to help us do that. But that is why we have not decorated our, our kitchen yet for Christmas. It's kind of, everything is up in the air right now because when you're working with insurance, things just take forever. Um, so our fingers are crossed that it will happen before Christmas but I'm not going to hold my breath. As of right now, we are on the schedule to be done the week of Thanksgiving. So we probably won't have Thanksgiving in our house, which is no big deal. My parents just live five minutes from us. So as long as it's not my Christmas, I'm fine with that. Um, that way Andy can have her first Christmas in our house. So that's one major update is that we're getting our kitchen redone. And I Fingers crossed, I would love to document the whole process and take you guys along and show you like what we're picking out and um, and just like the process of redoing your kitchen because I always love watching videos like that. However, I know th it can always be difficult for me to take out my camera, but I do plan on sharing that with you guys. What's the other update? I did also just have my birthday at turn 29. Every year on my birthday, we decorate for Christmas. So that's when we did it. We did it on the 8th. And then Steve and I and Andy Join went to the Waldorf Astoria in Orlando. They were so kind to offer a room to us. Right now at Epcot is Food and Wine Festival, which if you have not been and you have the opportunity to go to Disney during Food and Wine Festival, you have to. Um, but the Waldorf Astoria is now a Disney hotel. So they have transportation to and from the parks and they also participate in Food and Wine Weekends. So Steve and I, it was just so beautiful. They went above and beyond for us. The room had a bottle of champagne, my favorite beer in it. They made me a birthday cake and had that ready in the room for us. And then we got to experience a chocolate and champagne bar, which was awesome. And then we went to a four course dinner, which was absolutely beautiful. There was a specific wine pairing for each course and they were so well educated on it and so knowledgeable that it was just like mind blowing to experience something so beautiful. Cannot recommend them enough, you guys. We have stayed at the Bonnet Creek Hotel, um, which is right next to the Waldorf Astoria. Both are Hilton hotels. Bonnet Creek is the perfect place if you have kids, even if you don't have kids, it's awesome there. But I would say that it's more family friendly and then the Waldorf was just 
exceptional. It was just so beautiful. So if you guys ever have the opportunity to stay at either hotel, Steve and I could not recommend them enough. My house is a true disaster right now. Um, but I'm gonna show my Christmas trees to you guys real quick before the girls wake up, because otherwise I know I won't be able to. Let me just put my slippers on. Look at, I have cheetah print, camo, and this. Do I match? No, does it matter? Also no. So we have two trees this year. This tree in our front room is the same tree that we had last year. Um, and this tree was supposed to be our forever tree. Let me just turn this around so I can show. This one is from Hobby Lobby. It's a seven and a half foot tree. We always put a Santa on top of our tree. And I would say this is like a really classic Christmas tree. Um, and then in this room, this tree I'm just obsessed with. Let me turn the lights on. It's not the same unless the lights are on. Okay, so this tree is actually a nine foot flocked tree. It is just like unreal beautiful. I'm obsessed. Hold on, let me back up. So this tree is from um, Best Choice Products. It was surprisingly very affordable. It was actually the same price as the tree in the front. Um, but this one is a foot and a half taller and it's flocked. It's also fluffier. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Uh, all of our decorations are pretty much from Target. All the balls are from Target. I got a pack of 50 for $15. The fuzzy furry letters are from Target also. These are $3 each. Um, I have one for each baby. Dossie. And where's A for Andy? Oh, she's at the top. And then these I'm obsessed with. These like really ornate, beautiful decorations. These are from the store called At Home. Apparently everyone knows about At Home except for me. My, I went there with my mom and my sister a few days ago to get some extra ornaments. Oh, and the tree skirt. Um, but they're just beautiful. These are actually made of paper. These were also only like $3, so not bad. Then I got a little pair of boots. So I just got like a couple specialty ornaments and then the rest are just bulbs. But the tree is so beautiful that I could honestly leave nothing on it except for lights and a tree skirt and I would be just as happy. crackers I got you yogurt you want some yogurt okay take your binky out oh what the heck was that good morning mm -hmm. you want M&Ms mm -hmm. oh you're already asking for M&Ms okay take your binkies out leave them in your bed Get in your crib with you. Yeah. Why you don't want to wake up yet? No, oh, I don't want to get in your crib. We have to go out there with Andy. Yeah, I can't get in your crib. Yeah. Come on, sissy. Yeah. We can go watch Elsa and Olaf. Mm -hmm. What? Your legs hurt? Yeah. Why? Yeah. You guys want to watch Elsa on the TV? Okay, yeah. come on, let's go. There's your yogurt. You want to watch Olaf? Yeah. Hey, you. Hi, you. You've been so perfectly patient. Ah. Ah. Hi, 
Francis. Can you show them that you laughed finally? Good morning. She ended up sleeping for three hours, so she just woke up right when the girls woke up. Are you so well rested? Good morning. We gotta change your stinky diaper. I also forgot to tell you guys that at her two month appointment, she was finally weighed. She's two and a half months now, um, but she is 11 pounds and 22 inches. So she was seven pounds, three ounces at birth. So she's gained four pounds and she's grown two inches. Two inches. You're such a big girl. The girls were not even close to this size, 11 pounds until um, probably four months or five months. So this is so different to me to have a big baby like this. A big baby and she's only 25th percentile but she feels noticeably bigger while the girls are sitting and calm watching a movie i'll show you guys real quick today while they were taking a bath um i ended up cutting all three of their hair so emerson and dawson have very long straggly hair and it was really thick but the ends were just really straggly you know how it is when you have a toddler that their hair is just growing but at the same time it's just their hair is only so thick so it can look kind of straggly so Emerson and Dawson, I took like three inches off their hair. They needed it. Honestly, God bless you. Honestly, they could use more, but I'm not going to do that. It's just right below their shoulders right now. I think they'd look so cute with a little bob, but I'll wait for Steve um, to see what he thinks before we do that. I'm not super sentimental about it, so cutting their hair is really no big deal. Scarlett's hair, I took half an inch off um, because her hair is really curly, so I couldn't take much off of it but it definitely made a big difference and our hair is a lot bouncier. Their hair is all just air dried right now. After they got out of the bath, they just let it dry on its own and then they just woke up from a nap. So it's obviously not super cute or anything right now, but Scarlett's hair looks a lot thicker. She had just some really long straggly curls that went like all the way down. So I really just evened hers out and I really only took off like that much, but it made a big difference as far as not looking so straggly. And then Em and Doss, I mean, you can see the length is, I mean, it's still pretty long. Excuse me, Missy, I had to show them your haircut. Okay, so without touching her, you can still see that her ends are kind of straggly, so I think she could benefit from another inch or two off. Um, but like I said, I'll wait and see what Steve thinks. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm late